racism exists everywhere, not just in America, not just in sports or politics or it, it, it exists on every corner of the earth. Uh, you can hear black people call each other all kinds of names any given time of day. And you can hear white people call white people names. Uh, I thought the whole thing on the Hogan was to go back in time and you can go back in time and people can, and, uh, you know, they're going, they can dig up any kind of shit they want to on me. Right. Going back far enough. I think going back, I think there should be like a limitation on how far you can go back. It's like, they went back on Donald Trump like 40 years. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Or, or even like, even with Bill Clinton, they went back on him like, he's in college. He, did you smoke marijuana? Right. I think his answer should have been, well, of course I did. It was the 60s, man. Everybody smoked marijuana. I think people would have liked him more for it. I, you know, but he tried to play the thing and you can't play him and, uh, because you can't win. And Hogan couldn't win on that either. Right. Uh, WWE's position before being selling stocks and New York Stock Exchange, they probably would have just, that would have just been something that happened one day and the next day was forgotten. Uh, will it, is it different now? I'm sure. Right. I'm sure. Uh, what I liked about the Hogan was this. And uh, it's a hell of a thing. I'll go fuck a man's wife. I might get shot. He goes, fucks a man's wife, makes $50 million. He sure did. It's the goddamnest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I mean, Hogan? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Shit. You got something going there. <laughs> he sure did. Hell, I'll let you fuck my wife if you split the money with me. <laughs> you know, goddamn. <laughs> Think about that, though. That's a hell of a thing. That's exactly what happened, if you really want to look at it like I that. I mean, anybody else would have, the, the husband would have come in with a gun and shot your ass, or I don't know, I mean, had to, you know, 20 redneck hillbillies in a pickup truck, you know, <laughs> lynch you or some shit, you know, or castrate you. Hell, he made 50 million fucking dollars. <laughs> Jesus, damn, good for him. You, I love him. I mean, I love the guy. I mean, I've, him and I have had some battles back and forth about sure. things, but uh, overall, I mean, shit, he, he always, for some reason, he can get into some shit and land on his feet. Yeah. And old poor old Flair, now he gets into shit and just gets deeper in it.